recent times, there is no day that goes by without reports about underage girls being sexually abused by older men. The law of Nigeria stipulates life imprisonment for the rape of children or minors under the new sex offenses bill. But no provision for those who practice child marriage. It is abnormal to know that these pedophiles go scot free and sometimes they are related to the victims. And the family decides to keep it quiet, forgetting that this barbaric disorder could be carried to the child next door. Pedophilia is a psychiatric disorder in which an adult or a much older adolescent is exclusively sexually attracted to minors or children. It is pathetic to know that some parents would rather hold some kinds of information from their kids with the mindset that they are too young to know, forgetting that our people perish for lack of knowledge. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. If you don't teach your child to know stuff and get close to you, they will keep quiet and the pedophiles will go on to abuse them. Some tribes even support pedophilia by marrying off on the age girls to men old enough to be their grandfathers. For real? According to the statistics of the UN, 15 million girls are married before age 18, meaning 28 girls every minute and one every two seconds. Isn't it sad that Nigeria is the third on the list of countries with the highest number of child marriage? It is appalling for an elderly man to be seen walking down the road with an underage bride. It doesn't matter if he's an Eze, Oba, Emir, President, or even the world's richest man. What is immoral is immoral and should be treated as such. Pedophiles should be duly prosecuted by the law. Please do not tell me it is your tradition or your culture. This is the 21st century. The stone age days are long gone. Awareness should be created so people can know what signs to look out for if they believe that a child is being molested. Parents should get closer to their children. Make them your best friends so they can be able to tell you what goes on in their life, in your absence. You wouldn't want your child to suffer from post-traumatic stress for the rest of their lives. Train up a child in a way he should go so that when he grows, he will never depart from it.